What's going on, YouTube? Uh, how about you? Truck and Rob coming at you here. We're going to take a little drive. Uh, we're here. I just unloaded in Carthage down in the caves. And I swung through here through the uh, Flying J to get a trailer wash out. So we got a nice clean trailer. Go pick up our next load. And uh, next load is pretty cool, man. Uh, I haven't been out west in a long time. Real long time. Been running uh, Texas Regional with Prime and then did the Blair thing. Uh, we never got out west too much. Uh, never got, got too far west of uh, 35, really, of I-35. And uh, this next load here goes to California. <laughs> How about that? I've never been to, uh, it's been a long time. I've been to California many, many times, but it's been a long time. We're going to, we got two stops to make, one in uh, Broken Bow, Oklahoma, and then we final out in uh, Mercer, California. So pretty cool. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm not a huge fan of going to California, but it is what it is, you know. Um, it ain't so bad. I know some people that are watching this video uh, I know Jen mother trucker if you're watching this video I'm always giving her shit about going to California and uh, how I try to stay out of California and a lot of you guys try to stay out of California for multiple reasons right but uh, ah, what are you gonna do you know let's go to California but uh, I was inside getting some sodas and, and some water so I can make my coffee and I'm standing there waiting to check out and uh, this driver come in and uh, the usual you know uh, kind of kind of pissed me off a little bit you know he's wearing the uh, pajama pants and flip-flops with socks and, and a hoodie you know and well whatever man I, I get it you know I'm kind of tired of of arguing about that shit you know if that's what you want to wear that's fine um, that ain't my style uh, I like to wear a collared shirt and, and be presentable but anyway that's not the point I'm getting at here um, you know the point is he was uh, he was getting a scale ticket he was on the cat scale weighing out right and it turns out that this was his fifth way his fifth reway you know, you go in and get your first way, and you can make your adjustments, and then you go hit the scale again and get a reway. He was on number five. Number five, reway. And I felt sorry for the guy. The uh, the manager there at the Flying J kept uh, kept telling him what he needs to do to to adjust his weights. He was under gross, but he was he was having trouble with his axle weights. You know. And he had no clue, no clue what to do, man. And he was kind of lost. He was a nice guy, uh, regardless of what he was wearing. I'll never judge somebody by what they're wearing. Don't get me wrong on that, you know. Um, we're all out here doing the same thing. We're the brotherhood. I don't care if you're wearing flip-flops or not. I'll still help you. Um, but he had no idea what to do. He kept sliding the tandems in the wrong direction, uh, making things worse. And then he'd slide too far. And... and you know, it was just a mess, man. He was on his fifth way ticket, his fifth reway. And uh, the manager at Flying J was, was having to try to teach him how to slide his tandems and all that sort of shit. Even teaching him what the weights are. He didn't know what the axle weights were, you know. Um, boy, that pissed me off, man. I felt sorry for the dude. And uh, I went out and helped him, grabbed a scale ticket. And I uh, went out and helped him get his tandems right. And I got to talking to him, and it turns out that he's on. This is his second week out here on his own. I'm not going to mention any companies or anything, but this was his second week out here on his own. Really nice guy, man. Really nice guy. Super nice guy. And uh, I took the time to help him, and we got his axles uh, straightened out. Got him. Got him legal. And 
it turns out, you know, I got to talking to him and ask him, you know, hey man, you know, this is stuff in a nice way, you know, hey man, this is, this is stuff you need to know, bro, you know, I mean, um, did you go through training? He said, yeah, yeah, he went through a CDL uh, uh, school at, at a carrier, you know, and, uh, and then was out with the trainer for like a month and a half, right? Well, okay, cool. Well, why, why didn't your trainer uh, teach you all this shit, you know? And he said the trainer didn't really have time. He, he always wanted to learn. He kept asking questions. But the trainer always said he didn't have time to explain it to him. I mean, what the fuck, you know? Uh, the trainer doesn't have time to explain it to you. And he said whenever it came time to slide the tandems... Um, the trainer always did it for him. He never got to do it himself. You know, he said he talked about it and explained it to him a few times. But when it came time to actually do it, to look at the numbers, go and get a scale ticket and, and work your numbers, slide uh, forward or backward and get that figured out, the trainer wouldn't let him do it. He wouldn't let him slide the tandems, wouldn't let him make the, adjust, uh, the adjustments. Um, oh, come on, guys. I mean, this right here is pointed to you trainers. Um, I trained for two years, so I have every right to, to talk about this. Um, teach your damn students, you know. This whole uh, uh, running as a team thing, I get it, man. You're out here to make money. I, I get it. I'm out here to make money, too. But you as a trainer, that's your job, man. That's your job is to teach your student, okay? I, I don't know how many times, you know, I've already made a video about training. Let's talk about training. But, hell, let's talk about the trainer. Let's talk about you. If you're a trainer and you don't give a shit about your student and you're just out here for money, just out here for money, man, please stop. Go do something else, you know, uh, because you're making it dangerous out here. Uh, that guy, he was the nicest guy, man, like I said, and he was just, he wasn't trained properly, you know. That's bullshit, guys. That's absolute bullshit, and something's got to change out here. All right, that is not helping trucking, the trucking industry, you know? If that guy doesn't know how to slide tandems, who knows what else he doesn't know what to do, you know? So I gave him one of my cards, I wrote my number on it, and I shook his hand and uh, told him to call me, man. That's because that's how I am. That's how I am, man. I'm out here to help people, and that really pissed me off. You know, a good dude like that out here that, that doesn't know what the hell he's doing just because of a lazy, stupid-ass trainer that was out here training for all the wrong reasons. Just training to make a buck. Didn't give a shit about the student. Didn't give a damn if he learned anything or not, you know? So, there you go. That's my thought. That's what happened, you know? Uh, <laughs> didn't mean to go off on a rant on you like that, but that's, you know, I'm passionate about this shit, you know, and like I said, I trained for two years, so um, I made damn sure my students knew what the hell they were doing, and if they had any problems, uh, once they got out of my truck, they would call me, you know, hell, I still talk to my students, to this day, I still talk to a, a lot of my students, so it, it's just the way it is, you know, if you're going to be a trainer, be a trainer, do your, do it right, you know, um, maybe if you're doing it just for money, and, and uh, that extra three, four hundred dollars that you saw on the poster, uh, in the wall of your, of your trucking terminal, you know, earn up to three or four hundred dollars more, become a certified trainer, if that's why you're doing it, then maybe you need to go to a different company to where you can make some more money and run solo, you know, there you go, uh, maybe that's what you need to do, rather than, 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 uh, hurting the trucking industry out here um hell that guy i mean what if he got a ticket you know what if he couldn't figure out how to slide his tandems and uh and just something stupid like that you know something stupid like that what if he couldn't figure it out and, and he rolled across a, a dot scale and got a ticket for two thousand bucks you know or whatever you know that's money that, that's big money that as a driver just starting out you don't have that kind of money and it's a it's a black, a black mark on your damn on your MVR on your driving record, you know. Um, you know, usually overweight uh, tickets. So it's not a moving violation, so it's not really uh, any points or anything. But still, man, it goes on your record, you know. 
Um, it's some bullshit, and it's a fine. You know, it's something that you've got to come out of pocket to pay for. That's bullshit, man, when you should have known what to do. So, <laughs> there you go. That's that. I'm really done ranting about that. Um, I'm going to head on south. We're on I-49 right now, uh, headed south. And to, uh, we're in Missouri, and we're headed into Arkansas. And uh, going to Dardanelle. Arkansas, down at the Tyson plant, gonna go pick up, I don't know what we're picking up, right chicken, right? And uh, go make our stop in Broken Bow, and then final out in California. So, stay tuned guys, uh, more videos coming for you, and uh, be safe out there, train your damn students, help the brotherhood out here, if you see a driver struggling, help them out. It's not going to take that long. Don't just stand there like a dummy and be an asshole. Quit being an asshole out here. If you see a driver uh, having trouble, I don't care if he's wearing flip-flops or not. You know, go help him out. Maybe if you walk up to him uh, wearing shoes and pants and a nice collared shirt, maybe that's like what I keep saying. Set the example. If you set the example out here, uh, it's kind of a monkey see, monkey do type thing. You know, um, just do it. You know, be that professional. Set the example. And and let's make trucking great again out here, guys. It's all up to you. It's all up to me. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for the next one.